crack marijuana. Okay, so today the House passing that bill. It would make it legal nationwide. Now, earlier in rush hour, we saw it basically passed along party lines here with most Republicans opposing it. So for the group, is it time to make marijuana legal across the country? Crystal, let's start with you. Yes, it's past time for us to make marijuana legal in this country. There are over five states that who have already decriminalized it and or legalized it or made small quantities legal in their respective jurisdictions, also including cities. And so, so many people are already incarcerated because of the laws that existed. We used to treat marijuana as a, you know, attack on criminal justice as a, a way to reform, you know, crime in this country. And what we're, what the study, what studies have shown is that that it is not harmful as we thought it was in the past. And so now it's time to do the right thing, decriminalize it, and relax the laws um, as it relates to locking folks up for small quantities of marijuana. Now, you know, Crystal mentioned those arrests back in 2010. 52% of all drug arrests were for marijuana. That has significantly dropped uh, as time has gone by. You know, now 55 million Americans, American adults, currently admit to using marijuana. 45% of Americans say they have tried marijuana at least once. So Jason, you know, I want to send it over to you. Is it time to just legalize it? Well, it depends on why you want to legalize it. Now, at the end of the day, yes, I agree with the legalization of marijuana in the sense that it should be up to the states. I think the federal government getting involved to the degree that they have has meant that the states that have legalized uh, weed have made it nearly impossible to run a business safely. And that's why they're getting targeted so much here in Washington state, for example, with really violent criminals, including one just the other week shot and killed someone. Why do they get targeted? Because they can't do any business with banks. So I think that that needs to be fixed. However, if people think that just suddenly legalizing marijuana means you're taking it off the streets or getting it out of the hands of kids, we know based on the data here in Washington State that that just isn't yeah. the case. So I, I, we just have to be careful as to why people are doing it. Ultimately, I do think that voters should get to decide on their own. Now, along party lines, though, you know, Republicans are opposing this in general. So, Ravi, do you think it's time to legalize it? Yes or no? Absolutely. Uh, I would legalize marijuana. I would actually legalize um, all drugs, even drugs that are far more uh, harmful and, and actually people do overdose on them. But marijuana should be an easy one. Where Where is the the bodies we can lay, you know, on the altar of marijuana? There are none. It's not, it's not particularly addictive. Uh, you know, it doesn't cause people to overdose. It's insane that this product that tons of people, uh, conservatives, liberals, Democrats, Republicans, use safely and have for years uh, is still illegal crazy. Uh, we should absolutely, we should have a, in, again, in my view, a different approach to all drug issues. Let's, let's treat it not as a criminal issue, but as a, a dependency issue for people who have a problem with it. But th that's a harder conversation than marijuana. <laughs> yes, legalize yeah. it now. And I, I, I'm, I'm giving the most vocal person on this panel probably the least amount of time, but before we go to break, that's okay. Ashley, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you know what I'm going to say already, girl. Well, I'm with Robbie kind of up until like legalizing meth, but, um, <laughs> but I say, yeah, yeah, it should be legalized because, like he said, there's exactly zero over, so overdose, uh, de overdose deaths on the record, and that's from the DEA, pretty good source. And I also think it's time to tax the H-E double hockey stick out of marijuana because we did that to cigarette users and we had a lot of state money. So, yeah, legalize it, tax it, get it out of the gutter and stop allowing, you know, bronzements to be minted all the time uh, dealing on the streets. All right, when you said the sky high taxes, I saw Jason's head start shaking, but we'll have to continue <laughs> that discussion at another time. This discussion continues after the break. We're going to have to get our roundtables picks. Of course, the final four kicks off this week, and we'll have them when we come back. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.